Welcome to this daily office with the Iona community, which is taken from the Iona Abbey worship book. The service follows the form of morning prayer which we use on Iona, and so there are different prayers and psalms each day, and, over the course of each month, a cycle of prayers for the world, for different communities, and for the concerns of the Iona community. The service is interactive and you are invited to join with the responses, psalm and prayers. You'll see all the words you need on the screen. Through the week you will also hear different voices, those of staff, of members, of associates and of their families responding along with you. We begin with our opening responses. The world belongs to God. The earth and all its people. How good it is, how wonderful. To live together in unity. Love and faith come together. Justice and peace join hands. If Christ's disciples keep silent, these stones would shout aloud. Open our lips, O God. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Shall I fear? The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. Why should I be afraid? The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall Oh 
shall I fear? The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. Why should I be afraid? The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. Whom shall I fear? Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my light, my light and salvation. Why? Move among us, God. Give us life. Let your people rejoice in you. Give us again the joy of your help. With your spirit of freedom sustain us. God, make our hearts clean. Restore us in body, mind and spirit. Let us pray. And now we have our prayer of confession. Trusting in God's forgiveness, let us in silence confess our failings and acknowledge our part in the pain of the world. Before God, with the people of God, I confess to turning away from God in the ways I wound my life, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. Amen. Before God, with the people of God, we confess to turning away from God in the ways we want our lives, the lives of others, and the life of the world. May God forgive you, Christ renew you, and the Spirit enable you to grow in love. So now, as Jesus taught us, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us in the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We now have the response of faith. With the whole church, we affirm that we are made in God's image, befriended by Christ, empowered by the Spirit. With people everywhere. We affirm God's goodness at the heart of humanity, planted more deeply than all that is wrong. With all creation, we celebrate the miracle and wonder of life, the unfolding purposes of God forever at work in ourselves and the world. Praise God from the heavens. Praise God in the highest of heavens. Praise, Praise God, God, all you angels, all you who live in God's presence. Praise God, sun and moon, and all you glittering stars. Praise, Praise God above the skies, in the realms beyond our knowledge. Praise God from the earth, sea monsters and ocean depths. Praise, Praise God, God, fire and frost, snow and hail. hail winds that blow at God's command. Praise God, mountains and hills, orchards and great forests. 
Praise God, all animals, tame and wild, creatures that creep and birds that fly. Praise God, every nation, those who rule and those who judge. Praise God, men and women alike, youth and old together. Let them praise and honour God's name, whose glory abounds for ever. Let those who are close to God respond in generous praise. Listen now in the reading of Scripture for the word and wisdom of God. The reading is taken from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 21 to 30. Once more Jesus said to them, I am going away, and you will look for me, and you will die in your sin. Where I go you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, Will he kill himself? Is that why he says, Where I go you cannot come? But he continued, You are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins if you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be. You will indeed die in your sins. Who are you, they asked. Just what I've been claiming all along, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is reliable, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father, so Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am the one I claim to be, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. Even as he spoke, many put their faith in him. For the word of God in scripture, for the word of God among us, for the word of God within us, Thanks be to God. Were I the perfect child of God, whose faith was deep, and love was broad Not doubtful, guilty, worn nor flawed I'd gladly follow Jesus But I'm the child of what I've been Estranged by much I've done and seen Afraid to show the love I mean And fit to follow Jesus Yet God, who knows me first and last, who's seen my best, my worst, my past, has shown his love intense and vast by meeting me in Jesus. For Christ, though killed at Calvary, by sins like mine and folk like me, has risen, forgiven, and set me free, made fit to follow Jesus. Then sprinkle water on my brow, as in this place I make my vow, to own and love my Saviour now, and give myself to Jesus. God grant me what I still require, that I in others might inspire the hidden hope, the deep desire to love and follow Jesus. 
God grant me what I still require, that I in others might inspire the hidden hope, the deep desire to love and follow Jesus. We pray this day for those who are anxious, that you would bring them calm. And enliven those impaired by apathy. To the sick in body, mind and spirit, bring healing. And to their carers, bring skill and sensitivity. To the abused, bring safe affection and send an angel to forestall their abusers. To the war-torn and oppressed, bring the dawn of a different day. And to those who wield power, give the wisdom to use it wisely. And now we put into your hands which cradle creation, our souls, our bodies, our hopes, our fears, our past and our future, for you alone are God, from whom all goodness comes, and through whom all life is made new. Amen. Amen. On the twentieth day of the month, we pray for racial justice and the rights of indigenous peoples. And we pray for the following countries and their peoples. Taiwan, Japan, North Korea and South Korea. We pray also for members belonging to the family group of Yorkshire Three. Joanna Anderson and Peter. Diana Carroll and Sarah Lamming. Rosie Coles and Roger, Ros Davies and Kerry, and for members belonging to the family group of Mersey, Stuart Blackledge and Liz Delafield with Robert, Monica Bolton and Alan Mould, Gordon Cottle and Sylvia Cottle, Alison Marshall and Peter Marshall, Muriel Snell and Marna Watson. And on this day of the month, we pray for associate members in England South East. Walk with them today, O God, and keep us on your way. Ever-present God, set your blessing on us as we begin this day together. Confirm in us the truth by which we rightly live. Confront us with the truth from which we wrongly turn. We ask not for what we want, 
but for what you know we need, as we offer this day and ourselves for you and to you. Amen. Amen. This is the day that God has made. We, we will, will rejoice and be glad in it. We will not offer to God offerings, offerings that, that cost us nothing. nothing. Go in peace to love and to serve. We will seek, seek peace and, and pursue it. it. In the name of the Trinity of love, God in community, holy and one. Oh.